This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Iskar Rick. Welcome to the Geek Group. In today's video, we're talking about the posit button. The posit, posit. no, position. Posit. It says, well, it posit. says posit. Position. Position. Yep. It's all about position. It's all about position. It knows where it is, it knows where it's going, it knows and where it's been. This and this button will tell you where the machine's at. Okay, teach me. All right, you hit your position button, and it comes up here, and you have several options on this. This is G54. G54. And that this these numbers are where the machine's at from your G54 being set. Now, if you're working in like G57, it will show you G57. So it'll follow along. Right yes, okay. follow along. Now, can you make this work from machine home? Oh yeah, you um, oh, cursor down. There's ah, the machine okay. position. Okay. That's the machine from from the limit switches to where you're at now. Okay. And then you also have distance to go. This one will be active when the program's running. So as you get close to something, you come in, oh, you're in your feet holding and checking, tell you how far you get to go before it finishes that line of code. Okay, so you could be in the middle of a cut. And say, and oh, this, feet hold. Does this update in real, like if you're yes. running a program, this will jump all the way to the This constantly next moves. It's a countdown. Oh, cool. Okay. It's a countdown to the position it's going. I like because that. Because you have an XY location, whatever's happening in your program. As it runs down, you have three inches to go, two inches, you have ten thousandths. And or let's say you have half an inch to go, but you only have this much room, something's wrong. And at that point there, yes, this is very That's helpful. That's a handy feature. That's a handy feature. <laughs> yep. That's a good one. Okay. All right. And then uh, also you have uh, operator. This is for you. If okay. you want, in, if we are in, in the Z, oh, hang on, handle. Let's go back to our... Oh, you lost it. I lost it. We'll never uh, get it back. Uh, position and our operator, we can hit origin and it will clear the Y. Okay. If we move it to Z... And we make movement on our Z. At this point here, we can say, uh, I'm going to call that the top of the part. Now I want to move it. I hit origin. That clears it. Now from there, I want to move up 130 thousandths. Okay. I know that I've moved 130. All right. Yeah. If you move, let's say you're using, you're using a, um, an edge finder. All right. So we get our edge finder and we hit origin and we clear that. You know, we've run up and it, it's, our edge finder has moved off center. You can move up in your Z a little bit. We clear it out. Go back to our X, move over 100 thousandths. And now we're on center, on a, on a 200 thousandths edge yeah. finder. And then from there, you can set your G54, 55, 56. Okay. So that's very handy to use, and that's for you. That's neat. Yep. And okay. there's a couple ways to get to it. In your current commands, you can just page up or page down until you find it. And there it is. So now you have all four of them. You have your operator, your G54, machine, and distance to go. Can you leave it here when you're running a program? Yes. So this would be going nuts when you're running oh, a yeah, program. Oh, yeah, all okay. kinds of things are happening, yeah. and it's counting everything. Okay, yep. that's nifty. Yeah, it's, it's very handy to use, especially the operator for doing setup. Okay. Yeah, and distance to go when you're running. Otherwise, it's um, just a lot of information. This is a screen I see a lot when I go into shops. Yep. And, like, just dudes change doing part, push a button. Yep. This, is, this is often the screen mm -hmm. you see. Yep. All right, so that pretty much wraps up distance yep. to go. That's all right. good and handy. It's, it's not it's not a terribly complicated thing, nope. but this is one of those you use this all the time. All the time. Yep. All right, cool. All right. Well, we want to thank you guys for watching. I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Miss Car Rick. And as always, we'll see you next time. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, Automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over tightened steady rest, lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. 
please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.